Welcome to Truths, Proofs, and Firewater Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new whiskeys. We base our reviews on a 25-point scale, 5 for the smell, 10 for the taste, 5 for the finish, and a combined 5 for the bottle and look of the juice. Take two of Not So Blind, Michael's Samples. Uh, we tried to do it, but we got a couple that we didn't know about, so we're going to have to do one that we do know about. I want you waiting around for us. We need all the information. So in case you guys don't know, a um, friend of ours, Michael, sends us samples, and bless his heart, he sent us 12 of them. <laughs> and we just thought that it would be fun to just kind of do them sporadically. So, here we are. Mm-hmm. Lux Row 12 Year. Ooh, that's the one in the pretty bottle. Can I do this? Sure. All right, we got one. Winna winna. Okay, it's 12 year, it's 118.4 proof. Warm. Great. Oh, these little plastic seal things. I'm gonna give most of that to you. <laughs> and a little bit to me. <laughs> it is very dark. It is very pretty. Mm. Very pretty. Yeah, it is. Oh, I get like dark cherries. Like fresh black cherries right off the nose. Look how thick it looks. It doesn't yeah. even do anything. Legs take forever to form. That's crazy. Not in my little glass. This is going to be a thick, nice mouthfeel. I can just tell by the look. Yeah. What do you I get on the nose? I get cherries, almost like cough syrup. But then there's like, like a creamy, wood. like a creaminess to it too. Yeah, it is very creamy. It's very pleasant. I get the rye in there. Nose. Maybe like a chocolate covered cherry. I would I would go with that. Hmm. Yeah. Definitely. Some wood spice in there. I got bad eyesight. You want me to look at that teeny it's thing? It's right in front of your face. Yep. <laughs> Could you even see look, it? Look, my legs are just not forming. Yeah. Five hours later. That's yet. crazy. I'm going in. Let's go in. Oh my. On the top of my nose. Lightweight. Wait, we didn't even do a clink. Okay, we didn't taste it yet. What? <laughs> I ain't editing that out either. <laughs> that is rich. That's very. Hmm. It's spicy. It's nicely wooded. It's very oaky for a 12 year. So Lux Co sources, Lux Row sources everything, mostly from Heaven Hill. Pretty sure all. Um, it reminds me a little bit of the old Ezra, but much more oaked. Ezra is a seven year. This is oaky and fruity and chocolatey and creamy. I get a lot of rye on there too. Hopefully it's, it's a rye. spicy. Hopefully there is rye in it because it's spicy. It's very spicy. I know but Lux, it's in a good they way. Use, they use a weeded mashable too for like probably yell. But I think it's more along the Ezra line. Okay. So let's see. Good old breaking bourbon. Yeah, this is a bottle that I wanted when I saw the press release. It's one of the most beautiful bottles I've ever seen, but it never came around here. It never hit our price books, so. All right, so it was released in October of 2019 by Lux Row Distillers. It is a straight bourbon. 
from Undisclosed Kentucky Distillery, quotation, no. E's. Distillery or Rees. They won't tell you what. Heaven Hill has more than one distillery. <coughs> the mash bill is undisclosed. MSRP is 150 as of 2019. And they say the color is reddish copper and at 100%. I 100% agree with that. I mean. So what do you get on the taste? Did you already say that? I did. I don't listen very well. No, he doesn't. It's true. So this is the picture released by. I already showed it. Did you? Me. Limited edition, double barrel aged, twelve years. I don't know what that means. Well, I mean, it says barrel. At cast strength. Yeah, one four one eighteen point four. Because I don't remember you doing this. We're gonna do it all over again. Fine. Lux Road Distillers Double Barrel Bourbon is a new limited edition bourbon that. Commemorates the opening of Lux Row Distillers Distillery. The double barrel in its name re represents the process of selecting two 12 year old bourbon barrels. That's why they think it might be two distilleries. And then blended together, and the barrel numbers are noted on the bottle's label. Mm. So, does that mean it's a like a not a single barrel, but like a double, double barrel? Double single barrel? That's what they mean, yeah. Double single barrel? So, it's a two barrel. Batch. Mm. Bottled at 118, which is an intentional nod to the distillery's grand opening in April 2018. Oh, yeah. Each barrel pairing has been slightly proofed down to reach this mark. The bottles are labeled at cast strength, and the company, company confirmed this. Described the whiskey that has not been substantially diluted. Approximately 6,000 bottles will be released and are only available in Kentucky. That's why we didn't get them. We didn't see them. That's unfortunate. Get it together, John. That's fine. Anything else on there? No? This isn't some, it says it's not a micro batch. Double barreling usually means like finished, but it's not a term that's regulated, so. They used it to say it's two barrels, so right. micro small Instead batch. Instead of it being a single barrel, it's two single barrels, I guess, right? So 6,000 bottles. This is truly rare. I remember posting about it. I didn't know it was going to be Kentucky only. That's upsetting. But Ooh, we got it's to It's opening try it. up to like caramel and almond and cinnamon. I was going to say like pralines. Yeah. Like get, down south pralines, like homemade. Pralines. I get like almonds, not pecans though. Mm -hmm. Let's see if you get a different smell in my glass. No, yours smells weird. You smell weird. I just took a shower. So did I. Can't you tell by my poofy beard? Mm. So all that information was by breaking bourbon, like you said. It doesn't overall. say their mash bill. It says it's undisclosed. So I don't think it would be their weeded. That doesn't taste like a weeded bourbon. No, this is a little spicy. I would but be Lux very is also known for mixing their yeah, weeded yeah. and rye in like the Davis County and stuff. Maybe it is. I don't know. But the longer it sits out, it just opens up even more. How's the finish on that? It hangs around. I've still got it like mm. tinging the back of my mouth right now and it's been a minute. I mean, tasting it, it really is a caramel bomb. That's some of the most caramel I've ever had in a bourbon. I don't really get caramel as a note very often. No. And I laugh because the cat's just sitting where her food's supposed to be. She's mad. You're taking too long. She's hungry. So what are your thoughts? For being what it is, it is spicy and I do have a cut on my tongue and I'm a baby still. Um... But it's very drinkable. It is very good. It has a lot of really robust, like, pow to the kisser flavor. Like, that's probably one of the most flavorful bourbons I've ever drank. I would rate that probably well high. up into the 90s. Yeah. That's, that's up my wheel. I think I would, too. Even with it being a high proof, I'd still rate that high because the flavor and the smells and the profile of this I is love, phenomenal. I love Old Ezra, and I rate that in the high 80s. But with the age on this, it's it's really good. Yeah, Lux 12 is years is doing some them good some stuff. good stuff here. 
I would say. But there it is, guys. That's our blind Michael box. Not so not blind. So, <laughs> so that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.